Is there ever a situation that you should not be present? Short answer. There's only one. It's when you're planning and critical thinking. But even then, you're presently critical thinking. You're aware and you're fully envisioning what you're planning. So even then, you could argue that you are present. All other times, no. Okay? Here's how you can break it down. Good times, bad times, neutral times. In the good times, when you're present, you'll be able to fully let in every good thing that's happening. You'll be able to fully experience it and give to it. And you'll be alive and free. And all the spectrum of energy and the wavelengths that we can't even see, that we're not even aware of, that we can't even f- we can't even comprehend all that's out there that's not in our realm of vision, sight, sense, touch, all that stuff, we get access to that because we're now part of the universe and we're fully present, fully alive. You're also telling the universe simultaneously, hey, I'm able to receive. So you can give me more. And what would God love more than someone who can handle all of God's gifts? As the great Eckhart Tolle says, Sound is born from silence and it dies back into silence. So if you want to create it all in the good times, you must be present. Let's go to the neutral times. Things just are normal. Well, if you're present, the smallest thing, like washing your hands, breathing, feeling your heartbeat. When's the last time you felt your heartbeat? It never stops beating. Things like that fill you up all the way and help you get to what could be a good time. But here's the part that people really leave presence from is the bad times. Somewhere along the line in life, we thought that by feeling bad, by complaining, by being negative or anxious, it will get us out of a bad time and into a good time. Now, how much sense does that make? That's like saying if I subtract from a situation, it will get to a a greater, a greater positive situation. Nature abhors a vacuum. So when you're feeling bad, I'm sorry, when you're in a bad situation and you begin to appreciate all that's around you and you begin to give to life, you're doing all that you can to make that situation better then you can move it up to a neutral or good situation from there. At the same time, you're in a painful situation. Maybe you're, you're at football practice. You don't, like what's, you don't like being out there in the 99 degree heat, 100% humidity in Florida. You don't like the way it feels to get hit. Well, if you be present, then you won't have the simultaneous pain of judging that situation at the same time. You'll only feel the pain of the physical sensation, but you won't feel the mental pain of taking that in. You're at work. And you don't feel like being at work anymore. You'll only feel the feeling of whatever is causing you to not be happy at work. Say you're outside and it's hot out. You could always go back to weather. Or you're looking at a computer screen. Your eyes hurt. Instead of judging it, at the same time that you're feeling it, you'll only have to deal with feeling it. That's half of what's going on. Rather than you do the math feeling it and then judging it and then having the mental pain and then exacerbating the pain. And then before you know it, you could actually have been done with that physical pain, but you're still thinking about the pain. And so there's still that pain there. So it could actually prolong it, and make it worse to even think about it. That's not present. So no matter which way you cut it, good, neutral or bad, it is better in every single way to be present. Enjoy.